Hi guys, I'm here to do my June favorites and I must say that these the favorites of June will be rather extensive, especially due to the fact that I've been wearing makeup pretty much almost every day. Five, I wear five I to six days a week. Been able to use my products more regularly so I can really, really say that these are my favorites every day, every day. No. So I'm gonna start with concealers. Um, first is my BH Cosmetics um, 10 color camouflage palette and I use this every day or I, I don't wear makeup almost well sometimes I wear almost every day but every day that I have on makeup I have this concealer palette on my face first is the corrector and the, as you can see I use this one a lot I do use the other ones occasionally but I mainly use this one um, also, I've been using this palette in the darker colors to contour with. So I do enjoy using this palette, and um, I would definitely recommend it if you need, you know, for you know, if you need correctors, if you have dark circles, and even if you don't, just to highlight and contour with, I would definitely recommend this palette. So that's first of all. Now, what I use as far as concealer to do my brows and to highlight with, um, I use the LA Girl concealers. And I have I have three of them that I have out, and I only have these three that I use. I I'll mainly use two. There's a I have a lighter one, but I don't really use that one right now. So I use these two. I mix these two. And that's my highlight. I mix toast and toffee under my eye, and that's what my my highlight is. Well, I have it under my eye, I have it on my nose, I have it on my cupid's bow, and I have it on my chin. And to highlight under my brows, I use toffee, and then to highlight above, I use toast. So these are $1.99 or $2.99, depending on your beauty supply store. When I first bought them, they were $1.99 now they are $2.99 but either way they are well worth it I have heard people compare these to the MAC Pro Long concealer I have I have not used that I was interested in buying it buying it but um, and I still may buy it but for right now uh, these are the stuff right here and for $2.99 well I, I can buy like five of these instead of the MAC Okay, Pro quickly I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go to brushes. And I'm only going to mention one brush because mainly the same brushes that I used last month that are in my favorites are in this month's favorite. But I must mention this brush right here and excuse it, it's dirty. I have used it. But this is the Real Technique brush and this is this comes from the eye kit and this is actually the deluxe crease brush but I haven't been using it in my crease. What I've been using this for is for concealer under the eye because it really blends it in and it gives it like a airbrush look. Um, I used it today and I absolutely love this brush for concealer. I, I mean, I did use it in my crease occasionally, but I really like it more for um, concealer so it works really good with blending in your concealer under the eye and then of course you set it and then it looks amazing so if you have this brush and you've been using it for your eyeshadow definitely try it for blending in your concealer I use it on my nose and anywhere else that I put concealer on I really need to get another one because I want to use this one for highlighting and then buy one for contouring but Yes, this is the awesome brush right here. So now I'm going to do my favorite blushes. Last time it was Black Radiance. This time it is Milani. I have been wearing these blushes for the last couple of weeks. Probably since, no, it was before I bought the BB cream from Kiss. But I've been wearing this one almost every day. And this one is the, like the peachy looking one. And it's Rose de Oro. And I also wore this one too. And this one is the pink looking one. If I can get it open. And this one is, um, I don't remember, the, it doesn't have the name. I think it's called Pink Dolce, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the one, I also use this one as well. 
So those are my the blushes that I have been picking up for the last couple of weeks or in the month. The blushes all I've right, been picking so now up we're going, since I did all the face, we're gonna go to eyes. So I have been loving this NYX matte shadow and this one is in Blame It On Midnight and I don't know if you can see because there's like probably serious like dusting dent because I use this almost every day except for days when I don't wear eyeshadow or if I wear a shimmery eyeshadow or if I wear my Lorac palette then I don't pick this up I just use a color out of the Lorac palette but I absolutely love this for a transition color I have it on in my in my uh, crease right now as a tra transition okay, so color. Next is going to be my Lorac palette, and it's my favorite because I absolutely love the pigmentation in this palette, and it's just awesome. I'm gonna cut the cover mirror. This is what it looks like, and if you can see, there should be some major like dents in it because I have been using it. Um. This palette right here, you can create neutral looks, you can create smoky looks. I mean, this palette is the perfect palette for like traveling. You can go from day to night. I mean, I absolutely love this palette and I am so glad that I picked it up. And I, I wish I had bought it earlier, but I was like, I was, I didn't, wasn't sure. Because I had the, I have the, um, NYX nude on nude or I think that's what it's called yeah and I was like why am I gonna buy another palette with the same things in it that's why I didn't buy the naked one either but when I heard about this one I was like I'm gonna pick it up but so I was battling between the two so I'm actually glad I picked this one up first so if you don't have the Lorac Pro palette definitely pick this up it's worth it costs forty two dollars but the Urban Decay one costs fifty dollars and you get I think it's eight shadows ten shadows I'm not even sure but you get 16 for 42 and this is cheaper and you get the options of more mattes you get eight mattes and you get eight shimmers with the naked palette I think there's mainly the I think the black is matte and I think there's a like a neutral kind of like transition color like one but mainly the rest of them are shimmer so I would say if you're like a beginner or something like that, or even if you're not a beginner, you just want a good neutral palette, this one is definitely a good one to pick up. Uh, this is my favorite like for life, like for life. And unfortunately, Wet n Wild doesn't make it anymore, but you, I believe you can still find it on eBay and I think you can buy it on is it beauty joint is one of those websites and I'll try to annotate it in the video but you can still pick it up but the vanity palette is one of my favorite palettes I wear this palette almost almost every day depending on my, you know what I want to wear on my face or how I'm feeling or, or how much time I have but this is what I have I have this on today as well as you know with the the NYX but I have um these the side on I have the matte side I mix these two colors and put those on my put that on my lid and then this is in my crease and my highlight is just my concealer with set with a powder uh, yeah so vanity palette is a must if you don't have it definitely go online and try to find you one I wouldn't pay more than, well I can't say that either but I I wouldn't pay more than you know like ten dollars for it so it's definitely in my opinion worth it so then for for bases and I, I've been using this for the longest time this is a sample from the body needs and this is the sample of a ground groundwork paint pot by Mac and I've been using this almost every day and I'm gonna tell you that I don't know how long it's gonna take me to use this little sample but I love this groundwork paint pot so and that I had way more in there you I had way more in there and I use it I use it every day except if, if a day where I don't have an eyeshadow then I don't use it but I use it almost 
almost every day. So th this is gonna last me forever. So if you are like interested in like buying Mac samples and you don't want to pay full price for it before you actually try it and you just want to try it, definitely try the Body Needs uh, website. I will put the link in the description box because I paid $3.75 for this little sample and this probably will last me to, I don't know, like Christmas or something like that. I mean, I've had it since like... I've had it since maybe March, but lately I've been wearing it, using it more regular. But I, this is gonna last you a long time. So definitely try the body needs if you're interested in buying MAC um, products. They have pigments and lipsticks and different things like that. So you can definitely, and they have foundations as well, so you can All try right, them Lorac, out. All right, Lorac, behind the scenes eye primer. This came with the Lorac Pro Palette. I love this. This is the only primer that I've been using ever since I bought the Lorac palette, I believe. Yes. Except for like one day I picked up my Milani one, but after that, I've been using this ever since. I love this eyeshadow primer. When this runs out, I'm going to buy the full size. I... It, it just... I just love it and it, it, it even... I love it even more when you use the palette and the shadow together because I just they just conjunct and work together but they do work really well with other products. It does work really really well with other products but I do like it with um, the, the palette. So definitely a good primer. Um, so if you want to try this and you want to buy the palette so you can try them together it's like a like a bonus. So good primer right here. I don't know how much it regularly costs but eyeliner. it's worth it. NYX um, gel liner. I've been wearing this gel liner all month, almost. I was wearing the Wet n Wild one, and then I picked, I bought, I had bought this one and never used it. So as you can see, I've been using this thing pretty good. Uh, it does it. I, I like it. It's some glitter in there or something, but I like this one because it hasn't dried out. All my other gel liners tend to dry out, but this one doesn't. Now, I don't know if I'm just closing this one more nicely or then I'm closing the other ones, but like my Wet n Wild, my Elf, uh, my Maybelline, they all dried out. This one hasn't dried out. This one is way darker and more pigmented. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it on my hand. That is the, that's how black it is. Now, compared to my other liners, my other liners are not that black. So this is definitely a, a black on black, like black liner. It's called jet black, so it's really, really black. So it's really, really um, a good liner right here. Also, I like to use this brush, and I forgot to mention it earlier, with the liner I have it on now when you want like a really nice line and you don't want it too winged and it, it like it seems easier for me to use this brush than like an angle one so I can I can get right up in it and I like how it's small now my only issue is that um, I bought this in a set that was discontinued at Target from Sonia Kashuk but I am going to try to find brushes that are flat eyeliner and are this small. I have one from e.l.f. but that one doesn't work like this one. So definitely try to find a small flat eyeliner brush and you can get really up in there, really like tight line it. You don't have to over, if you really are new to lining or you just have a hard time lining your eyes like I do, <laughs> then you can really get up in there and not have, you know, if you don't want to wing, or even if you want to win, you can build it. I really like this eyeliner pencil. I mean, I pencil the brush. Next is um, this right here. I This is my brow pencil. And I mentioned this before. But I love this brow pencil because I can feel in my brows. They It actually matches my hair so it doesn't look too harsh. And I just love it. And you can... It's 
um, re it's retractable, so you can, you know, turn it up and down, which is also good. So you don't have to sharpen it. Because my other one that I was using was the Revlon Brow Fantasy, but you had to sharpen that, and it had the gel connected to it, so you can only sharpen it to a certain point. And that thing cost nine dollars. So this one's like four or something like that. So and this one has lasted me for the longest time. So definitely pick this up. This one is in dark brown. They have other shades. At one time I thought it was too light, but it's perfect for me. All right. Mascara. This is the same this is the same mascara from last month. But what I do is I put these two together and my lashes look so full, almost like I have on fake lashes. This one is the Revlon Custom Eyes. As I did show you this last month, but I didn't show you the wand. And it has two dials on the side. And I did notice in the video you could not see that. But let's see. So that was level one. And then this is level two. All right, she's going to show you the brush. That's the brush. And they they discontinued it at CVS. I don't know if they discontinued it at any other local um, drugstores. I am going to try to find another one. But more than likely, you can probably find it on drugstore.com because they do have like older things, some things that are discontinued. So definitely check their out their website because this is... I love this message. Then I am wearing with it the Scandalous, Scandalous the Eye... Show off by Rimmel and this is a wand so it's got like a crazy different wand I think this part's like for volume and then this parts for something else I've seen it in the commercials but I put this one on first and then I come behind it with the Revlon one this already gives you that fluff volume I mean with this and then you come behind it and just this kind of like fills it in it makes them thicker so these two together I've been I've been loving these loving these I also also I would recommend that in between you use like one of these brushes so that kind of helps with the clumping so it isn't too clumpy but yeah these two together awesome. okay quickly this is my favorite right here um, this is a seven pill organizer that I got from the Dollar Tree so it's a dollar I haul this in my massive Dollar Tree haul. Now, I deposited my powders in here that I use every day because I did have them in my organizer that I showed you and I had the full sizes in there. So I deposited it in these because it's easier for me to actually use the powder every day because before I was, it was a mess trying to get the powders out and shake them out and not knocking it all over the table. So this is like the best thing invented and it only cost me a dollar I have my um, NYC translucent at the top I got my banana here I have my sienna here and then I have the banana and sienna mix which I like to use as my highlight so this right here is awesome all I had to do is open it put my brush in it tap the excess out put it on my face close it up no mess all over the table the only mess is when you deposit it but other than that other than that and I've only awesome. had it on for I don't know two hours next is my Rimmel lipstick and this is from the regular Rimmel line not the um, Kate Moss and this one is in nude delight and it's like the perfect nude so what I've been wearing I've been wearing I also post a picture of this on Instagram and on Facebook with me having it on I don't have a lip liner beside me, but I rocked it with um, NYX Nutmeg Lip Liner. Love it. Love it. It It is awesome. Just with those two things. I also, well, I also wore it yesterday. And another picture that I posted on Facebook and Instagram. I had this on top of the New Delight and the um, Nutmeg lip liner and these are the nano cocoa 
lip liner that I did a video on so I put the link to the video right here these are in your local beauty supply store they are between $2.99 and $3.99 you can also get them online I will put the link to the website where you can get them online if you cannot find them in your store and you your local beauty supply store and you've heard about them so I, I have a total of eight but I only picked up um, four for the video I have them labeled so I can see them on the top when I pull them out yeah so um so I was wearing that with it which that one is cappuccino and I do have swatches in the actual video so you can see swatches then I have secret cut crush where this is also like a pinky nude and then um, I have I have two bold pink colors I have first kiss and then I have lovely now I can't remember which color I wore with the lipstick but I wore one of these lip one of these lip gloss with candy yum yum and it was so beautiful and I really think it was first kiss because it it made it a little bit darker than candy yum really really is so I if you have candy yum yum and you got first kiss or you haven't picked it up just go ahead and go to the beauty supply store pay three dollars four dollars for it put it with your candy yum yum rock it all day because it will not it will be there it'll last all day it will not move these lip glosses are awesome for so that's pretty much my $4. favorite sorry this video is so long but I had a lot of favorites and I had to tell you guys so you can pick them up and then you can tell me then you can tell me how good they are uh, <laughs> so that's my June favorites if you guys have any June favorites definitely definitely let me know below in the comment section because I would like to know your favorites and then if you have a video I would love to see your June favorites video and I definitely would approve it as a video for response so thank you guys for watching and also follow me on Instagram and Facebook so you can catch up with me when I am not making videos. So, bye guys. And it's supposed to, it's supposed to be an eight in one multi-function. It's supposed to be a base, a foundation, a concealer.